So, Ball JC3 here, the Baller of YouTube, the General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. Well, you've heard the news, and if you haven't, I'm bringing it to you today. Kyle Korver is going to the Cleveland Cavaliers via a trade. Let's look real quickly into this. Reported by the Vertical, the Cavaliers and Hawks are still finalizing the terms of the trade with a 2019 first round pick and Mike Dunleavy Jr. going to Atlanta, league sources said, and they're trying to find a third team to go in on this trade. But this is what the Cavs do. We saw them do it a few years ago. They got the midseason acquisition of J.R. Smith and Amon Shumpert from the New York Knicks. And I believe that they got by far the best end of that trade as well. The Cavs push the envelope. And for me as a Warriors fan, I'm looking at this and this is the worst possible thing that could have happened. Because LeBron James, with his great playmaking ability, gets another shooter on his team, albeit a 35-year-old veteran, but still a sharp shooter. All he's got to do is spot up, catch and shoot, and LeBron's going to deliver it to him. And it just opens up the lane even more for Kyrie and LeBron to penetrate. And we've seen LeBron with sharp shooters throughout his career help him to excel. Being a player that drives to the rim a lot, we saw him in Miami with Shane Battier, with Ray Allen, with Mike Miller. We saw Michael Jordan throughout his career. Sharpshooter Steve Kerr, sharpshooter John Paxson. So these players that like to penetrate, a sharpshooter is not only going to increase their stats, but increase their wins. So I want to look at this from a perspective that maybe some won't, is that what does this do to the Golden State Warriors now? Because early in the season after their first game against San Antonio, I didn't overreact, but I said they're going to need a big guy in order to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals. And now, whether it be a big guy or some type of spark plug guard off the bench, they're going to need another piece because this is what the Cavs do. They push the envelope. They are always looking to get better. They're not satisfied with this team. The Golden State Warriors, and I'm a fan of them, keep this in mind, so this actually means a little bit more coming from me. They weren't going to beat that Cleveland Cavaliers team without Kyle Korver. And they're definitely not going to beat that Cleveland Cavaliers team with Kyle Korver. They had trouble competing with the Cavs on the glass in last year's finals with Bogut. There's no more Bogut. There's no more premier rim protectors in there. And for the Warriors, Bogut was a premier rim protector. If somebody got in the paint, they're looking to Bogut to send that shot away. But I also want to look at the matchup between the Warriors and Cavs this season. And the Warriors still lost to the Cavs. And there was no J.R. Smith. Their questionable spot has always been that shooting guard spot. But Smith and Korver, they got the sharp shooting right there. That is exactly what they need. And now this puts all of the pressure on the Warriors. What's your next move? What are you going to do? Because Kyle Korver to the Cleveland Cavaliers has got to mean the Warriors make a trade for somebody. I'd prefer it be a big guy, but even if it's like a spark plug player off the bench, they're going to need to get somebody. Sharpshooter, I wouldn't be so concerned. They got players on that team that are sharpshooters. They got players on that team that can step up in clutch situations. And the Cavs still had a pretty deep bench. Anyway, I mean, Richard Jefferson coming into the game and dunking on KD and Clay, right? Their bench was pretty much deep already, and they still got Korver. Well, this puts that much more onus on the Warriors because their bench wasn't deep already. It's not deep already, right? So they better go make a trade now. If the Cavs are making a trade for this guy when they really don't need him, but he's really going to help them, this is crazy for me to say, but this just shows how competitive these two teams are in this modern day NBA. And don't miss this. Don't miss this. Even if you're not a fan of any of these teams, I can't believe I'm about to say this. A once 73 and 9, now a team with Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, and Draymond Green, I'm saying this, are still not good enough to win the NBA Finals because of what the Cleveland Cavaliers are doing. Golden State Warriors, next move is yours. Signed, Cleveland Cavaliers. So hope you enjoyed this topic tackle. Remember to subscribe, like, leave your feedback in the comments down below. Share this video. We'll be back with more topic tackles soon. JC3, out.